Welcome back, and in this video we're going to look at my Sega Dreamcast collection. Now for me, I did not have a Sega Dreamcast when it first came out, and I actually didn't even pick one up until probably about 2007, uh, when I started rebuilding my collection here. So for me, I really don't have any nostalgia for the system, but I will say that every single game I've played, I've absolutely loved. So I can definitely see why people hold the system in such high regard. Now for me, I have 33 games, and let's get straight to it. The first game here is Choo Choo Rocket. Next up, Crazy Taxi 2. Now I played this quite a bit in the arcade, and from what I hear, it's been released on a bunch of different systems, but the Dreamcast one is the one to get. Next up is Frogger 2. Next up is a game I actually played quite a bit of on, on the PC. It's uh, Hidden and Dangerous. Now this game here is a lot of fun. The PC version has a lot of bugs in it, but this one here is awesome. Basically what you do is you get a, a squad of four guys, and it's a third person slash first person shooter. And basically what you do, you have, there's a whole list of, whole roster of guys to pick from. And you pick the person that you want to play as. Some guys are stronger than others, some guys have better you know, shooting accuracy than others. Uh, the good thing about this game is once a character dies, he's gone for good. So you really have to think about what you're going to do prior to going into battle. Next up, Hydro Thunder, another arcade game that's a lot of fun to play. Jet Grind Radio. The game that actually kind of surprised me is Maximum Pool. This game is actually quite a bit of fun. So next up is Metropolis, Metropolis Street Racer. Miss Pac-Man, this one is Maze Madness. One thing that the uh, Sega Dreamcast did very well in his sports games. And right here I got NBA 2K1, NFL 2K, and NFL 2K1. All of the sports games are amazing. Next up is NFL Blitz. This is 2000. Quick 3 Arena. I wasn't really too big a fan of this one just because it just kind of seems like um, it should be just, be just multiple multiplayer game, I guess, and I really didn't care for it too much. Rayman 2. Next up is Ready to Rumble Boxing. Record of uh, uh, Lotus War. Sega Bass Fishing. I know there's an attachment for this, I still need to find this. I think everyone has this, and everyone's a seal, but it's the Sega web browser. Sega GT. Absolute must for the system is Shenmue. Next up is Silver. Another must for the system is Sonic Adventure. I started playing this this year, actually, and I, I'm really surprised at how well this game still holds up. Absolutely love it. Next up, Sonic Adventure 2. I get to play this one now. The original Soul Calibur. Another very good racing game, Speed Devils. The speed in this game is absolutely amazing. I, I love it. House of the Dead 2, another um, arcade port. And I think that's what the Dreamcast did quite a bit of, is bringing all these arcade ports home, and they did them really, really well. This is a good, per, a good light gun shooter. Tom Clancy Rainbow Six. Another game that kind of surprised me is Ultimate Fighting. What do they call this? Ultimate Fighting Championship. Which makes sense after UFC, right? This game actually surprised me. I thought it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. But I put it in, played it, and absolutely loved it. Got my ass kicked too, actually, quite a bit. Virtual Tennis. This is Virtua, Virtual On. I'm missing the cover for this thing, but it has a back cover and a lot. Just missing the cover. Wild Arms. And last but not least, Worms Armageddon. Now this is the part of the video where I say, let's get off the floor and put it on a shelf. But this is actually going into kind of a CD case over to the side. So I'm going to let you guys go here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Until next time, take care.